Hello there, this is a tutorial for the menu item multi-gates. So if we open Blender 4.1, which is the latest version, we have some new functionality. So if we go into the geometry nodes and we type menu, menu switch, you can create a menu switch. And this menu switch, if we can see uh, here, I already made a menu switch. Let me show you what happens if you do it yourself. Let's delete this one. Here we have A and B. Plug it in. Here we get a menu in our parameters. Which is really nice because then you can like add a lot of options that people can choose from and it makes it a lot more clean, the par parameter menu. So if you want to adjust this menu switch, you have to go into node and here you can add more items. So we can say, for example, we want to have uh, meters, we want to have millimeters, we want to have uh, centimeters, for example. Let's keep these three. Now here in our menu, we can see we have meters, millimeters, centimeters. Now nothing is linked yet, so if we plug this one in, and for example, we create an icosphere. And from that, we make two more. We do one with one subdivision, or one subdivision, two, and three subdivisions. Let's plug these ones in. There we go. We see now the one with one subdivision in meters. We have millimeters, and we have centimeters. Uh, this one should be three. So now you see all three options in your uh, geometry nodes menu item, which is really nice uh, that this works. But when I was working with it, uh, a thing that you cannot do is make two menu switches that are plugged into the same uh, menu parameter. So for example, if I grab this one and I duplicate it, and I also want this uh, menu to drive something else, like a float, and I plug that one in, it doesn't work. Because I think you can set different names and then there's maybe uh, um, some interference or a, a conflict of these names. I'm not sure, maybe they fix that in the future, but even if you have two geometries, and you plug in that one, you cannot do it. So for uh, some new tools that I'm making, I really need this functionality. So I thought of a way to do it. So we delete these ones and keep them. No, we also delete this one. Here down below, you see that I made a menu switch or menu item multi-gate. And with this uh, setup, you can plug in different values for the same menu. So let's go in and uh, show this as an example. So here I already made a menu switch and it's a string. So we have different names that go into it. So if we take this same menu, or I don't have to do it actually, I can just delete this one. I can plug this one in and there in the node I already set like the meters, centimeters and millimeters and they are uh, the string of these names are A, B, C and if you make more you should let's say uh, I make feet and for example inches I should name them uh, A, B, C, D and E like all these switches, the multi-gates, they have uh, 10 inputs, A to J, and they correspond to these uh, names as well. And this way you can have different inputs from uh, one menu item. So if we drag this up a little bit, and then we give it some space, let's use this one. 
So now we take the output, plug it into the input. So now it will get A, B, C, D, E for the thing that you select here. So this is A, B, C, D, and E. And we plug that on here. And now again, I will make an ico icosphere. And let's make a cube. Drag a little bit up. Here I put an icosphere and a cube. And now if we go to the menu, centimeters, you see we have the cube. And in meters, we have the icosphere. And now I want to have the same menu switch to drive other values. So for example, we can set the scale of the elements. Now what I'll do is let's take a float. Shift D, I copy it from down here. I plug in the output into the input and there we can set the scale. Now they disappear because they're all set to one, uh, zero. So if I set this one to one and B to two, now the icosphere will be scale one and the cube will be scale two. If we go to centimeters, you see now that the cube is uh, set to scale two. I can also switch that, put this one to one and this one to two and then interchange it. So you can see that you can have different values from the same menu. So you can keep your whole uh, parameter setup really clean. Uh, you can also make this yourself. It's actually pretty easy. I already done all the work for you and made all these uh, multi gates from all the uh, possible outputs. We go into the menu geometry you can see here, I just make a, a compare node. From that, I take the string, and when it corresponds to the name of the menu item, there's a switch, and uh, it puts through the true value of that switch, connect to the next one, and then it goes to the output. So all these values go in here, like uh, the input sends it to the compare node, and then it sends the A, B, C, D, until J through the, these switches. And what you can also do is just copy one. Then you have to connect it to the false. You have to connect this one to the output. You have to add another one. So uh, uh, A, B, C, D, F, G, K. There we go. You have to plug that one in here uh, in the input. And you have to make another another geometry node here, parameter, and name it accordingly. And this way you can just add more if you want. If 10 isn't enough for you, you can just duplicate this whole thing and just do what I did, connect all the nodes, and then you have more multi gates. So I hope this is useful, creating your uh, menu items. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Okay, bye.